Hi everyone. In the previous chapter, we implemented the code like option. When we click on the like button, it will be added to the code like list. It is implemented using a file storage right now. And one thing we are missing here is the ripple effect feedback when we click on a button. Usually when we click on an Android button, we will get a nice ripple effect, but somehow we are missing it for our button. So let us first fix that. In order to fix that, uh, ripple effect you have to come to the slide layout or xml file and find out the button the first button is implemented using this image button and the second one is implemented using this image button so in order to get the ripple effect feedback you have to use this android foreground option and here we have to use a predefined attribute which is android attribute slash selectable item background so if we add this the uh, if you look at the hint option you can see that it will work on android 23 or later so it won't work before that but that is not a problem because most of the devices that is currently running android can they have minimum android 23 so that is not a problem and you have to copy this android foreground attribute to the image button also the second image button which is our share button and if we run this program right now uh, and if i click on this button you can see that we are getting a good nice ripple effect so that is complete now now the user will get a feedback when he click on this button and the second thing that we are going to do in this chapter is to create a home screen uh, of course the what we have to do next mainly is showing the list of like records right now after liking a code we don't have a list of like records that we have to do but in order to load that activity uh, once we are done with it is missing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a home screen something like this it will be having two buttons so when, when we click on the first button we will load this activity the old code section and the second button will be for showing the like records and when we click on the second button we will show the list with the like records alone so that will be a filtered list so let us start working on it so if we come to the project section we have this genuine inspiration and like this i'm going to refactor something here we have to move this main activity to some other package so first thing i'm going to do is um main codes so i'm going to create another package called main codes and i'm going to move everything into that one refactor it so I already will refactor things for me. So if I come to this main, main app, now you can see that the package is inspiration.main course. And I need one more package. So it is a little bit tricky to create in uh, Android Studio. So I'm going to do a trick here. So if you look at this, we have genuine com, genuine inspiration and there we have main course. And here I'm going to uh, create another package, which will be uh like record like records so this package will handle the like records and this package will handle the old codes section and we need another thing that will be dashboard and so we have three main packages and if i come here now you can see that we have dashboard like records and main codes so what we are going to do right now is to create a dashboard for our program so a uh, new activity and i am going to create an empty activity so an empty activity will be will be just an empty activity as the name suggests and i am going to name it as dashboard activity so if i create something like that it will create the xml file and the java file for me okay <clears throat> all right now the building is complete now i have my file and if i go to the activity dashboard you can see that uh, it is just a simple one and by default i'm going to create the constraint layout i am not going to use that we just need a linear layout okay so far so good now what we need is two buttons so let me say the orientation so for a linear layout this key is important if you have more than one item within the linear layout currently we are going to have two buttons so we have to specify whether we want to align them vertically or horizontally so i'm going to use vertical layout since 
uh, I have to align buttons like this one the first button second button like that okay now let me add the first button here okay so button match pattern wrap on then and here I am going to give the text view codes view all codes so I am going to name it as view all codes and you can see that it, it is coming here and one default behavior of Android button is it will always show things in capital letters as you can see here everything is capitalized so we have to uh, set a key all capital so let me search for it text all caps and if you set this to false then you can give the casing by yourself right now i have given like this and when i set text all caps to false it, uh, it is showing exactly as i have given so view all codes so that is the first button and obviously we need one more button and view like records is the second button so uh, uh when, when we click on the view like records we will show the list of like like records and when we click on this view all codes we will show the current one uh, current view which is this one we will come to this view okay now we want to increase the size of the button right because it is very really too small so the width is fine we have to increase the height so i'm going to set it to 200 dp and 200 dp is quite a bit so let me try with 100 dp okay fine now i want to set the size of the phone because it is too small so phone size text size so you can provide the font size using the text size field i'm going to set something to 80 sp so so you can all use dp also but the recommended text size is sp okay fine now i just have to reuse this one okay except here instead of view all codes i need to queue view like codes so for so good we have two buttons and the next thing we have to do is to handle the action of this button uh, in the activity file so i'm going to do something like this uh, initialize initialize components so here you have two options you can either provide uh, give the handler for example if if you look at the options you can see that on click function is there and if you give a function name here when the button is clicked that function will be automatically called or from the program you can add a button listener also so in this case let me add the listener from the program so uh, first i have to give an id for this button so that i can access this button from the program so i'm going to name it as dashboard then within dashboard it is button view all codes okay now i have given an id for this button so i can access the button using find view by id method so find view by id r dot id dot dashboard view all codes and i'm going to give it as button view or equals find view by id okay now uh, the, this program can be this button can be referenced from the java code similarly we have to do this for the like record section also so btm view like records now we have to access this from the program so view liked ones or simply view like this enough so we have two buttons right now everything is good and if, if we want to add a listener or action handler we can do it like this set on click listener so you can see that there are things like the long click listener which will be executed when you long click on a button this is for context click listener which i will discuss later so uh, th there are a lot of even handlers here there is like a touch listener is there so what we are going to do is we are going to use a click listener so when the button is pressed this code will be executed and uh, uh, i think there's a problem let me not use the lambda expression so set on click listener 
okay now we have what we have to do is when we click on this view all course we have to load this main course activity right now when we start the program this main activity is executed we have to change that uh, instead uh, instead of loading this main activity directly we have to load the dashboard first and when the view all button is clicked we have to show the main code view all codes so uh, that we have to do in order to do that we can use intent so intent intent equals new intent and using intent we will navigate to different activities so i'm going to create an intent to load the main activity from the dashboard activity so main activity dot class let's see what's the problem so uh, since uh, currently i am inside this view on click listener this is referring to this inside this part so what i have to do is dashboard activity dot this will do the trick because uh, this, uh, just this parameter refers to the code section inside this view on click listener so that's why we have to refer it using dashboard activity dot this and the next thing we have to do is to start activity so if you look for start activity methods you can see that it will accept an intent and just using these two lines of code when we click on this view all button the activity main activity will be called now what we have to do is right now when the program start as i said before the main activity is getting started instead we have to start the dashboard activity so that can be done from the manifest section if you double click on this manifest it will come here and here you can see that we have two activities one is dashboard activity and one is main activity and main activity has this intent filter and this intent filter will decide which activity will start first so if I cut this code from there and paste it here, then this activity will be started first. Let us run the program, shall we? And see and make sure that the dashboard activity is starting first. Uh, let us just wait for that build to complete. And in the meantime, let us uh, check whether everything is fine. So we have this view all codes, view micro codes and within the dashboard activity we have reference to those two buttons and everything seems clear and as you can see right now we got two buttons view all codes and view like the course is there and when i click on this view all codes it should come to this one yes it is coming right when we click on this view all codes button it is coming to the view all course section so that is the end of this chapter in this chapter we implemented the dashboard successfully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.